Welcome to this video on using the vacuum line for freeze pump toss cycles. Here is our vacuum line. Moving from left to right, we see stop cocks which we label VAC, the one connecting to the vacuum pump, air for an air vent, pump connecting the line to the pump, sample for connecting to the sample, and pressure gauges P1 and P2, and a spare sample area. These taps correspond to the label shown in the lab manual and beside the instrument. As well as these stopcocks, we also have a liquid nitrogen trap to protect the pump and two pressure gauges. Here's the vacuum line again, but with the liquid nitrogen and sample in place. The principle of freeze pump tow is simple. We wish to remove air from the sample. To do this, we begin with the entire line up to the sample tap under vacuum. That is, air, sample and spare taps are closed. We freeze our sample and once frozen, we open the sample stopcock to evacuate the headspace. Once done, the sample tap is closed and the liquid allowed to thaw. As it does, air in the liquid will enter the headspace. We repeat the cycle to remove this air and the sample is now ready for experiment. Before beginning the experiment, we securely close the pump tap to isolate the line from the vacuum pump. The sample is fully immersed in a salt ice bath at around minus 10 degrees Celsius and allowed to gently warm. The pressure at several temperatures is noted for subsequent analysis. Let's look at some experimental considerations. Add sufficient liquid so that the sample vessel is about one third full. Connect this snugly to the vacuum line, making sure that the o-ring is perfectly snug and then secure with the metal clip. To freeze the sample, half fill a polystyrene cup with liquid nitrogen and immerse the sample in it using a lab jack. Fill the cup to the brim with liquid nitrogen so that the sample is completely immersed and wait for it to freeze. At this stage, open the sample stopcock. Note the rubber seal present and how it disappears when you open. When you open this stopcock, the vacuum will pull in the headspace gas, so you will observe the vacuum reduce and then slowly restore as the pump withdraws this air. Once the vacuum has restored, close the sample tap. When handling taps, use one finger and thumb to stabilise the line and the other to close the tap. Don't over tighten, but do check that the rubber seal reforms. The sample is then allowed to thaw and any gas in the liquid will enter the vacuum in the headspace. To remove this, we repeat the freeze pump thaw cycle. Measurement itself is easy. We close the pump tap to isolate the line from the vacuum pump and then immerse the sample in a salt ice bath so that the temperature is around minus 10 degrees Celsius. Use your initiative then to think about how you will warm up the sample slowly and measure the vapour pressure from the gauge until the temperature is about 10 degrees Celsius. When you're done, carefully remove the sample from the line, you'll be working against the vacuum holding it, and dispose of the waste appropriately.